Welcome, welcome, welcome to We Don't Care Live, the news outlet where we just couldn't care less. Today we return to our most famous past guests, beloved by many for their crippling alcohol addictions and their desire to steal from the elderly. So what's it like being gluttony? Well, being gluttony sure does have its perks. For one, you get to be a disgrace to society. Everyday life can consist of drunken walks, intimidating the public, and brief lapses of amnesia. It's what the alcohol fandom typically does. Hey, I look a lot like that funny alcoholic. So how much do you drink on the daily? Uh, I, I don't know. That's like asking someone how many times they breathe in a day. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say two to four bottles of vodka a day. But then you can't exactly forget all the, uh, the wine, too. So one last question. How are you even still alive? <laughs> ah, that's where the excessive eating comes in. When the blood sugars are low, I usually have myself a couple of healthy snacks in order to keep myself going. That's what I'm saying. This gluttony guy really knows his stuff. Well, on that note, we wrap up this interview and head on to our next guest. Well, rumor has it, you sin twice in one week. Yep, still remains a highlight in my career as a disappointment. Well, uh, I see you have plenty of Wii games to choose from. Yeah, there's only so far you can go without a copy of uh, Wii Play. You can never be too safe nowadays. I've lost my fair share of killer stuff, so having backups always helps. Hey, there's another me on the screen. What's the deal here? Well, I have one question for you. Hit me. You know, they used to call me Mr. Questionable in school, so uh, hit me with your best shot, champ. Why are you so greedy? Yeah, I've got a burning hatred towards other people having things. In fact, I remember stealing this disc from someone not that long ago. I've just got this instinct to take people's belongings and rob them of all their worldly possessions. If I've robbed at least three people in one day, I can sleep well that night. That's cruel. Not if it's greedy doing it. If anything, they should be thankful I even approached them. Is there anything else you want to mention before I wrap things up? You know, now that you mention it, I've still got this uh, microphone of yours. Can I have it back? Absolutely not. And remember, kids, it's not stealing if it's from a reporter. Well, on that note, folks, that's all the time we have today. Be sure to tweet us on Twitter via Twitter for headlines you probably won't care about. These guys look and act just like me. I better go check this out. Yeah, this must be the place. Hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely gluttony. Why do you leave these here? Maybe he went in there. I should have really stretched off doing that. Let's see if he's there. Damn it, he's nowhere to be seen. Who are you? What, what do you want with these guys? Where am I? 
or inside your noggin pet. And how'd that happen? Well, you see that, um, that Ralph guy, he, uh, he sort of knocked your lights out and um, he did that using a little belt of magic. How do you know that and, and who are you? Judging based off that beautifully sculpted face of yours, I must be you. Or you must be me. Therefore, I am you and you are me. Capiche? Yeah, nice joke, champ. But for real, what's going on? I'm serious now, my son. I'm a different version of you that Ralph killed just, just a while back. Yeah, pardon my skepticism, but this sounds like a load of bull. Right, listen here, my son. I'll help you out. I'll explain everything, clear up anything you're confused on, all right? Okay, fine. Let me, let me just make some notes. Right, so this Ralph guy, he craves darkness and the power that it holds. You know, world domination or something. I, I, I don't care. You know how those people are. Anyway, he went around possessing people, making them do terrible, awful things, so that they produced darkness for him, and then he fed off it. Anyway, he got tired of that, tried it on me. I retaliated, some sort of power inside of me or something, fought him off, he didn't like it. Uh, that led to us having a little bit of a scrap in which, admittedly, he defeated me. But, you know, we don't talk about that. And if you tell anyone, I will kill you. Wait, so if you're dead, how am I talking to you right now? Well, I guess when that Ralph guy killed me, uh, my soul didn't really disappear as it usually would. It instead split into three people that I can think of, that being you and the other two that you saw in the news. And I guess... The part that made up me got carried on into you. Wait, so me, gluttony and greedy are all part of the same person and are not real people? Yes, that is correct. And as you know, Ralph seems to have learnt about this power all fragments of myself seem to have to retaliate against the darkness. And it seems as though now he's tracking down every last one of you in order to hoard you and keep you for himself so that he can rule the world with darkness. Got it. Does this sound about right? I mean, you did, you, you did good, son. Right, so uh, how do we go about fixing this little uh, issue of ours then? Well, if you ever managed to track down Wrath, then I could lend you some of my power to, to help defeat him. But um, I'd advise finding gluttony and greedy first before they do. Sweet, sounds like a plan. You got Gluttony's uh, Google Maps or anything? His IP? Ah, uh, well, I did think about that, but then I realized I have no idea what they are. And, you know, it's a bit hard to find them on Google Maps if you have no idea what they are. They're not exactly a historical landmark, are they? The only person who might know where they are would be that reporter fellow from the news. Oh, Remy, yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, We Don't Care Live. Yeah, no, I've got his address. Got his Google Maps right here. Well, I reckon you might be waking up anytime soon now, champ. So, um, good luck out there, my son. Gee, it's like the dad I never had. Damn good. Gluttony? Uh, kind of. Uh, friends, family, and the authorities call me Gluttonormy. Can I help you at all? So, basically, me, Greedy, and Gluttony are all part of the same person. We're not real people, and I need to find them before this other guy does, because if he gets them, then we'll die. Get what I'm saying? I'll pretend that all made sense, but either way, I don't care. Sorry, pal. Oh, please help. It'll give me something to put on my CV. Nope, sorry, I got a wild chess game going on in here. With your dog? Yeah, my boyfriend isn't really a fan of playing chess. He tends to get rather physical. That's slightly concerning. But anyway, how can I convince you to help me out here? Unless you have my missing microphone, there is no way I'm joining you. What if I told you when we find Greedy, I could use some of my sick persuasive skills that I learned from charisma class in order to give, give that microphone back to you? Fine, I think I know where he might be.
wonder why Greedy comes here. I don't know, sometimes I see him down here with a mat of the Woo! <gasps> Finally! I've been looking for this for years! See, I told you you'd be digging up something weird. Hey, Greedy, what you got there? You're not gonna believe what I just found. Canned meat? Canned meat! What's so special about canned meat? Get this. Limited edition, vintage, 1994 canned corned beef. I've nearly got the full set. Look, I love a canned meat unboxing as much as the next guy, but we gotta find gluttony, and I gotta warn you about the fact that we might not exist soon. You know, I ain't never heard that before. What's going on? Is you ready to help us find gluttony and put an end to wrath? Eh, I don't know. Seems more like a Thursday activity to me. It is Thursday. That can you got? It's a uh, vintage 94, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it is. Why'd you ask? Look, I'll make a deal. You join us, and I'll get you the finest vintage 1995 can me. Yeah, you got me there, champ. I'm in. Sweet. What are we find gluttony? Have you checked town? Yeah, that's a good point. We should go check that out. Yeah. Oh, for Christ's sake, him again. Let me let us on my damn beach. What? That goddamn environment Ben guy. Why is he shooting at us? Kind of a wanted guy on this beach on account of all the littering. Case in point. Nice one, genius. Now we're gonna get shredded by this guy. We'll never find gluttony. Come on, let's get out of here. Of course this happens on the one day I choose to wear heels. Where's Greedy? I severely underestimated my ability to run in heels. Where do we go from here? We're gonna hijack that car. Wow, how deep. Didn't think I mugged you again. I mean, I'd rather you didn't, but what's up? Well, you see, that guy over there is uh, out for our blood, and uh, we really need a getaway car. So if you wouldn't mind just hopping out the vehicle. You're going to mug me either way, so sure, I guess. Oh, sweet. I'll put any uh, traffic violations on my insurance, so uh, don't you worry. Sakes, they got away again. Woo! I think we lost him. Great. What do you say we carry on like for gluttony? Wait a minute, you're gluttony, right? Uh, yeah, that's me. We've we've met before. Where have we met? Wait a minute, you tried to kill me that one time. So you're telling me there's a murderer in the car with us? I didn't mean to do it, guys. Come on, I, I didn't, I don't want to kill anyone. Hey, look, man, I may mug people, but murder, that's where I draw the line. It's not cool. Guys, I swear, I was possessed or something. I, I had no control. Get, get out. I don't... Yeah, that's what they all say, you idiot. Good luck finding gluttony on your own. I just don't know what to do. I mean, I had no control of my body. I didn't, I didn't mean to gas them. But I guess without any evidence, they're not going to believe me. If only there was somebody to prove that I'm not a sick murderer. Did, did somebody say murderer? There we go. That head is a migraine. I've been meaning to cut that. 
The name's the Great Basby, or just Basby, if you hate saying words. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'll stick to Basby. N name's Glottonomy. I couldn't overhear you talking about trying to convince your friends that you're not a murderer. I think I can help with that. Wow. I, I can't even begin to imagine how. Oh, I work with murderers all the time. I love those little guys. You see, I host a game show called Guess That Murderer, where I prove to millions on live television that the people on the show aren't or are sick, twisted killers. Right, because that's what comes to mind when you think of a half horse in the middle of the woods. Has anyone ever been proven guilty on your show? So there was this one guy who kind of looked like me, but half dolphin instead. He was a complete psycho. So I proved him guilty, but he was not happy about it. No guy came here and tried to kill me. I mean, you kind of got to expect that when you're working with murderers, though. Hey, how about I come to your next show, and I can prove to everyone that guessing those people wasn't my fault. Sure thing. Anything to keep the view counts up. Sweet. I'll fill you in the deets, and I'll see you there. Hmm. Oh. You know, surprisingly, out of all the times that I've mugged you, I never caught your name. Name's Amy F. Amy F? <laughs> More like Amy Wen. Give me a time and a place and I'll be there. Yeah, sorry, I don't date guys who mug me. Ah, well, worth a shot. <laughs> Let's see what's on the TV. Welcome back to Guest That Murderer, the show where we discover whether your friends are sick, twisted, killer or not based on real evidence. My name's The Great Basby, and today I will be introducing Glut Normie! Hey, hey everyone, everyone, hey. Good to be here, good to be here. Hi, Basby. So how about we get to it and answer the age-old question. Is Glut Normie a sick, twisted murderer? So according to this blood, Normie, you've been accused of gassing people without their consent. That is correct, yes. Okay, now most people would see that as borderline psychopathic. However, let's see if blood, Normie here is actually worthy of being called a sick murderer. Now we can see here that prior to gassing those people, blood, Normie was possessed by a darkness, leading him to lose control of his body. But why would have this happened, Mr. Normie? Ah, well, you seem a bit of a wanted man myself. Uh, this Wrath guy's out to kill all the me's in the world, and uh, he sort of infected me with this darkness stuff, and that made me lose control of my body, you know, without my consent, too. Ah, I see. So, based on the evidence that we have here as well as what you have just said, it's clear that the act of gassing those in the car was out of your control in the darkness that this Wrath guy struck you with led you to lose control of what you were doing. Therefore, I can announce that you, Sir Glut Normie, are not a sick murderer. Congrats, champ. Maybe we shouldn't have booted him out of my car. What's up? Look, man, I'm sorry for not telling you about what happened before the car incident. I didn't think to tell you that Raph had tried to possess me. No worries, my guy. It was a mistake on our end just to boot you out like that, especially when your life and the other guy's life is at stake. Oh, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. So, you're still going after Raph to find Gluttony? <sighs> yeah, I think I'll go check out where you first interviewed Gluttony, see if there's any clues there. Count me in. For real? Of course, man. Sweet. Okay, let's uh, gather the guys and head down there. What happened? Raph came in here out of nowhere and they took Greedy. Raph's moving quickly. We better head up there and stop them. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think big pools are common in small towns like this. Maybe this is where Raph took Greedy. All right. We don't know what to expect. Ref could do anything now. Everyone ready? Hey, you want me to eat some before we go? Yeah. Blueberry? Always keeps them for emergencies. I'll stay guard in case anyone weird comes in. Are you sure? Of course, didn't I mention I have quite the history of being a club bouncer? Here we 
Here we go. Son of a bitch, my knee split. Is that them over there? Raf, where's gluttony? <laughs> Why don't you ask? I've got to say, the selection of wines here is just abysmal. Yeah, I mean, same goes for the selection of Wii games. I mean, what kind of place doesn't have carnival fun fair games? Soon I will have all of the split knees literally in the palm of my hand. And with their power, I shall rule the world. Yeah, but you're still missing two split knees. And I'm about to take you down. We're going to take you down, Raph. Who's this sap? Name's Amy F. Amy F, you best get out of here before I change that to Amy Was. I, I'll see myself out. You gonna help me out here, little guy? What do you expect me to do? Can I have some sort of like spell or something? Throw fireballs at this guy? Oh yeah, no problem. Go wild, champ. Thanks, dick. Hey, got Nolly! Good luck, man. I'm going to make you pass tense. Damn. I swear that happened last time. God, I really shouldn't have cancelled my gym membership. Oh. Glad know me. It's your father. Don't give up. You can do this. He's right. Gee, thanks, Dad. All right, Grim Nipa. Let's get the split knees back. Thanks, chap. Gluttony! <laughs> You're back! The one and only. I'm so happy we managed to save you. Me too. You know, if I have to see another Wii game, I'm gonna blow my bloody lid. That greedy guy drives me nuts. Doesn't that mean that you technically drive yourself nuts? Look, I hate to interrupt a good reunion, but clock's ticking. You got somewhere to be, big guy? I'm afraid it isn't all sunshine and rainbows, champ. Now that Wrath is defeated, gluttony and greedy are free, we're all gonna fuse back into one. So is there no way to keep them out? I mean, I can barely cope with one me inside my head, let alone three. Yeah, I'm afraid not. We're all just gonna fade away and become one person again. Well, if I'm gonna disappear, I might as well give you this. Your famous gluttony vodka wine? Your vine? Well, I'm not gonna need it where I'm going. Speaking of which, a little something for when your blood sugars are a little low and you need a healthy snack. Oh, gee, thanks, man. This sure does look like a nutritious snack. Look, I apologize on behalf of all the mugging. Hey, no hard feelings, man. I mean, everyone gets mugged at least twice in their life, right? And, uh, give this to Rummy when you see the little guy. He's a good kid. 
What are you looking at? I already gave you some magic. Well, we nearly had a nice wholesome moment there. Way to go, buddy. So what now? You wanna hop over on common traffic again? What, and lose the only other two knees in my life? <laughs> I'll pass. Hey guys, who's up for a round of virtual animal abuse? <laughs>